Good evening, Brother Jim reporting here at End Times Prophecy News. A must read Mueller's reprehensible ultimatum to General Flint, your son or your country, make your decision. We all know that Mueller was the pit bull Nazi investigating a Trump administration officials. General Flynn was given an ultimatum by the corrupt Mueller team. Choose either your son or your country. This grotesque abuse of power and the legal system by the Mueller gang should never have happened and should not go unpunished. General Flynn worked for the Obama administration, but at some point was fired by Obama for apparently disagreeing with his policies and actions of the Obama regime and speaking out against his failed policies in Iraq and Syria. Soon after then, candidate Trump ran for office and General Flynn supported the future president and introduced the candidate at rallies and then was offered a position on the Trump team. Obama was upset with Flynn for supporting Trump, and it appears that he had some sort of vendetta with Flynn for his comments on the growing threat of ISIS. It's also suspected that after Flynn parted ways with President Obama, he was set up at a dinner with the Russians, where he was seated next to Russian President Putin in December 2015. The American spy in England, used often by the deep state, Stefan Halper, seated Flynn next to Putin, and then it is suspected used this information as an informant for the Obama administration to obtain a FISA warrant to spy on General Flynn. Additional information on the framing of General Flynn was reported from a woman who said she was used as a Russian against the general. Svetlana Lakova, the Russian historian at the center of Michael Flynn investigation for alleged contract or contacts with Russians, told Fox News in an inter exclusive interview with Catherine Herridge that she is not a Russian spy and that she thought there's a high chance that is that it was coordinated and believe it needs to be properly investigated. In 2017, American various media outlets framed her as a Russian operative and linked her to Michael Flynn. The allegations involved her contact with Flynn three years prior at a 2014 dinner at the University of Cambridge, England, when Flynn was Defense Intelligence Agency Director. General Flynn's actions had nothing to do with collusion with Russia. He was set up and spied on. In October of 2016, shortly before the election, based on bogus and fake dossier financed by the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC, Obama's gang of corrupt intel heads filed for and eventually obtained a warrant to spy on fellow Americans. The warrants were fraudulently due, fraudulent, fraudulent to, due to their source and made-up content. Obama spied on the Trump team as well as President Trump's leadership team, including General Michael Flynn, for some time. When and for how long is still unknown. Why were they spying? Well, they were spying on them so they could gain evidence like they did to try and pull a coup d'etat. That's why they were spying on him. By indicting General Flynn, the deep state could say, see, he was a Russian sympathizer and therefore their illegal spying was justified. General Flynn was participating in Trump rallies throughout the U.S., and he also became an advisor for the campaign. <coughs> At this same time, the Obama administration was in full force, beginning their efforts to frame candidate Trump as a compatriot with Russia to steal the election. One way they did this was to set up Flynn with the Russians. After Trump eventually won the election, the deep state that represented and supported Obama was in a panic. They feared that if Flynn looked into efforts to spy on the Trump campaign, they would be found guilty of their many illegal actions in spying on the incoming president, the opposition party, and many others. When President-elect Trump met with President Obama for the first time, Obama even recommended that the future president not select Flynn to be on the Trump administration team. It's suspected that Obama didn't want Flynn on Trump's team because Obama feared Flynn would uncover the illegal spying that the Obama team carried out during the 2016 campaign and before. So the same FBI investigator who led the Hillary Clinton email investigation, the same individual who led the Hillary interview and neglected to take notes, put her under oath or record the meeting. The same individual who assisted in drafting the memo months before the Hillary was 
interview that was presented by corrupt FBI director James Comey to explain why the FBI was not pressing charges against Hillary. The same individual who led the Russia Trump investigation. The same individual who neglected to do anything when presented with information that China was hacking Hillary's emails real time. The same individual who personally reviewed over 300,000 Hillary emails found on uh, perp uh, pedophile Anthony Weiner's computer a week before the 2016 election. The same individual that said all of Weiner's emails were reviewed in, in less than a week and no criminally related information was found. This individual, Peter Strzok, went to the White House a couple days after President Trump's inauguration and entrapped General Flynn, President Trump's national security advisor, in discussions related to Russia. Corrupt Strzok asked Flynn questions related to call Flynn made to a Russian official before the inauguration totally legal. The rumor is that the FBI agent with Peter Strzok, Joe Pienka, said Flynn never lied. Strzok and Pienka asked Flynn questions, did not tell him he was under investigation, did not read him his rights, did not allow him to have an attorney, and then lied about what was said. The location of the FBI's original Form 302 recording this discussion is unknown. After this meeting, a few days later, then acting Attorney General Sally Yates, an Obama holdover, went over to the White House and stated that General Flynn had lied to the FBI. Eventually, General Flynn resigned from his position at the White House on February 13, 2017. A few months passed and then the corrupt Mueller investigation started. Mueller's first target was General Flynn. Mueller had nothing on Flynn, so he and his goons went after Flynn's son, Michael Flynn Jr. Michael Jr. had a brand new baby and was grilled by the Mueller's team. Eventually, they used the general's family against him. It's believed that the general could plead guilty to a bogus charge of lying to the FBI or he could watch Mueller's goons put his son in prison for some bogus crime. Make a decision, either your country or your son. Mueller's goons put the general in the worst position possible. He chose his son. The goons then placed the general under a gag order while the media persecuted him for months for a false crime. Unrelated to Russia collusion, they paraded him as a criminal. The judge overseeing the case, who took Flynn's plea, was a friend of corrupt cop Strzok and was also a FISA court judge. He was recused from the sentencing, but to this day, we don't know why. They never told Flynn that he was being spied on for months before the election. The Mueller team and the deep state and the Democrats didn't stop with the general. They went after others, including the president's eldest son, Don Jr. So Joseph J. Flynn says here, this is exactly what they did to General Flynn's son, who, without cause or evidence, what would you if, do if they went after your son? Soviet-style BS, so infuriating. And President Trump on Trump Jr. subpoena, I was very surprised. The last thing he needs is Washington, D.C. He would rather not ever be involved. Don Jr. being used to get at Trump for any number of evil dem reasons, including similar to Michael Flynn Jr. who caused. There are so many questions yet unanswered. One question is why deep why did Obama's deep state not tell the president that General Flynn was under investigation during his campaign? Who made this decision? This would have been the proper thing to do. Were they afraid that illegitimate spying by the Obama team would be uncovered? So, it's all boiling up and getting worse and worse. General Flynn is a patriot. He never should have been put in this situation. He was illegally set up and lied to. He was forced to choose between his family or his country. General Flynn chose his family. What would you have done? Two deep state characters, and it looks like both of them are going to be tried for treason shortly. 
Thank you for listening. Let me be serious with you. I would rather that you donate to my ministry directly. I cannot survive financially to keep this ministry and new service going without your help. And we all know their plans to shut me down again. But many of you would like to receive a gift or a product as a token of my appreciation. And I don't blame you. Isn't it about time Uncle Sam started paying you instead of you paying him? It is about time. The federal government pays you your rent check. The government rents out thousands of buildings and instead of uh, buying them every year. This is all funded by the current $11.1 billion building fund in our budget. Get your free federal rent check today sign up with the federal millionaire information here down below become a shareholder to receive federal rent checks for life by making a one-time investment as a shareholder an IRS ruling declares this to be totally legal this is no joke no scam and been for many years the longer your name is on the distribution list, the larger your federal rent check grows. As inflation rises along with real estate, the government pays you more every year. Starting out as little as $1,800 a month would be your rent check. Wouldn't that be nice to receive every month a rent check like that? The federal government continues to raise your income as inflation rises. This puts an end to retiring with a fixed income that leaves you going broke as you get older. This will put a major dent in those people who hate their home tax is going up every year, wouldn't it? And folks, the price for this valuable information will cost you only $39 a year or $79 for a two-year membership. Sign up today.